and squeeze my fingers on both sides. Good. Good. And then pinch both sides. Don't let me pull them apart. Good. That's my finger. Put your nose. That's my finger. That's a neurologic exam. I practiced for 14 years with Mass General and I uh, had about 3,000 patients or so and eventually I went into the concierge model and set up here. It is a little bit more of the old family doctor uh, routine with uh, many fewer patients in your panel, meaning you have prolonged visit time with your patients. You have a deeper connection with your patients. My wife Marilyn and I, who's a registered nurse and a prolific uh, researcher in preventive medicine through Harvard Medical, she's joined me and is now uh, my co-pilot here. Preventive medicine is just so exciting. With all of the technologies that we have today and all of the testing that we have today, we can actually intervene and modify our lifestyles and our environments to produce a better outcome. I was looking at the internet for genetic testing because we had done that in my previous work within clinical trials, and so I wanted to bring those special tests to our patients. We used ourselves first as guinea pigs to see if we felt that it made any sense. I found that indeed some of the illnesses that I had a clue about in my family history were born out in the genetic testing. In addition, some of the things that I had no idea that I was at risk for came up. Genetic testing is like taking the family history that you get from the patient and taking it to the next level in terms of detail and accuracy. It's very empowering to have the genetic information. To incorporate the genetic testing in our practice, it actually just fit right in. People were really very interested in knowing what was going on with their genes, and we put it in a perspective for them. Then develop a plan, an action plan, go forward, and it's a benefit for the patient and something that we very much enjoy doing. Overall, incorporating 23andMe into my practice has definitely helped me serve my patients better in a more thorough and complete fashion. I predict that in primary care medicine, where we are the front line for patients coming in with undiagnosed symptoms, genetic testing will play a very important role in perhaps helping us get those patients to the appropriate specialist early on before the diseases have done their damage. It is part of the process that's irreplaceable. It's, it's become convention for us. It's proactive, but for us, we couldn't imagine practicing medicine without it.